Uh, Monday, indeed, is the first official work day of the week, and today is another Monday, and a very special Monday because it is the last Monday in the month of November 2021. Thank you very much for joining us this morning on the platform. It is the part; it is still part of our morning show, the one we call Morning Spies, right here on the floor of God's own state, Flow 94.9 FM, where we deal with issues that affect you and I. Of course, where we dissect them with the help of our analysts, and so that you can make better decisions in the nearest future my name is michael oni welcome to the platform the pinnacle of all discussions on flow 94.9 fm so what do i have for you this morning what do we want to talk about this morning on the platform on flow fm uh we're looking at uh, the legality of the judicial panels of inquiry uh, inquiry rather the legality now this uh, you know one will be asking we've spoken so much about NSARS no this is not about NSARS it is about the legal competence of the panels of inquiry on police as set up by different uh, states uh, of the Federation uh, of course um, let me refresh your memory and what brought about this topic this morning in the wake of the widespread of the protest by aggrieved and uh, concerned nigerian youths uh, last year uh, which uh, climaxed uh, on the 20th of uh, october 2020 against police brutality and later culminated into bad governance the national economic council of nigeria directed state governors to set up judicial, judicial panel of inquiry tribunals of uh, inquiry to look into the allegations of the human rights violations orchestrated by the nigeria police force and more particularly by its defunct uh, sars uh, unit and later some 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 states uh, impressive number of, of states amongst uh, lagos edo Oshunabia, delta niger just to mention a few constituted judicial panels of inquiry to look into the allegations but what is still a bone of contention is the legal process the legality of these judicial panels we, that was a bone of contention contention at the start of the panels uh, during uh, the debate but now it is still a bone of, bone of contention looking at what the uh, spokesperson to the president said uh, talking about uh, uh, femi addition or that we did not we did not uh, 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 instructed we only advised the states to go ahead but a very shocking uh one yesterday uh mr festos Kayamo, he's a lawyer a senior advocate of nigeria who was speaking uh of course uh, as a lawyer and uh, a minister of the federal republic of nigeria and he said something that caught our attention where we want to look at the legality of this uh, judicial panel he said all the panels of inquiries set up by the various states of the Federation following the crisis that arose as the result of the NSAS protest all over the country is illegal. That's a very, very huge statement. Let's listen to him. And uh, we have uh, a legal practitioner in the studio to help us dissect uh, this issue this morning. Um, I will answer this question as a senior advocate of Nigeria, a member of the INABA. Um, and so I'm entitled to my personal opinion. This is not the federal government's position. For me, that panel was an illegal panel. The panel of inquiry, it's totally illegal. led by Justice Okwebe, and uh, set up also across the nation in at least 20 Ill states. Illegal panel. Why is it so? All lawyers who are listening to me should go back and read the Tribunals of Inquiry Act of Lagos States. It says that the, the governor should have, we have power to inquire into the conduct of any person underline any person and then chief tenancy matters and on and on and then any other matter within that to promote you know uh, the good of the public however any person there was defined in section 21 to mean public officers of the states because when they say any person or uh, any person of the state within the state officer of the state is defined to mean somebody within the public service of Lagos State or of the local government as the case may be. Then the phrase was used at the end of section one that says any matter, any matter that they can inquire into any matter. So people now think that to inquire into any matter, it means that you can just be at large, you can be at large, you can inquire into, into, into any matter. However, if you look at section 21 again of the Tribunal of Inquiry Law, it says that it has to be within the legislative competence of Lagos State. 
the, rather the person or the matter must be within the legislative competence of Lagos State. In other words, it is only people over with whom the Lagos State has control that they can inquire into their conduct. If you don't have control over, my, over me, you can't inquire into my conduct. Policemen, the armed forces, military, they are not under, they are not officers of Lagos State. They are officers of the federal government. By virtue of the constitution, it's only the federal government that can control the conduct of policemen. And the military, Lagos State is not, is not in, cannot be in control. Even when cannot legislate too, regarding police matters and military matters. It's on the exclusive legislative list. It's exactly, it's on the exclusive legislative list. So when you now say any matter, listen, when you say any matter, you cannot then say that you now hide under that phrase of any matter to defeat the original purpose of the law that says do not go beyond the persons over whom you have control. So, where you now say any matter, and in the course of delving into any matter, you now call people and begin to inquire into the conduct of people not under your control, it is illegal, completely illegal. But and no, no paper, no recommendation, nothing can come out of an illegal panel. Nothing. Illegal, not because... Um, they have powers to set it up. To set up a tribunal of inquiry. But because the fact, the by, the decision, the military... by the decision of Fawai Himi and Babangida doing the Uta panel, mm -hmm. they go and read that decision. Yeah. Yes, they said it is now the states that have powers to constitute panels of inquiry. And the federal government has power to the FCT. Only the FCT. FCT. Correct. Yes. Correct. Uh, and so, let me make reference. And that's in part uh, 808 yeah. of Nigeria Wutu Law Report. Yes. So, 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 and I'd like to ask yes. you. Yes. It's involving the citizen of Lagos State and, the, and uh, infrastructure. And but you're, you're, that is, but that is the point they are making so, now that the government did not, the panel did, was not given powers and a mandate to inquire into the conduct of citizens, for example, who are fighting the police. That is what they said. They said that's why they could not indict anybody. We can't that, say for that, sure. That, that, that they killed policemen. Hold on. Hold on. They, can't, they cut the ground from under their own feet. People said, no, you can't talk about policemen that were killed or military because that was not terms of reference. So you cannot find out those people who perpetrated those offenses. So in other words, your mandate was restricted to only the conduct of the police. Not the citizen, not the victims, not the conduct of the victims. But, but Minister, maybe you missed out a part. Uh, okay, just uh, uh, to have the basis of the conversation this morning, uh, of course, uh, we will continue the conversation. It is about the legality of the judicial panels of inquiry uh, set up by the state's uh, government uh, in the federation. Uh, we have joining us this morning uh, a legal practitioner, Barrister Namdeelua. He's the past chairman of Nigeria Bar Association, Umahia Branch. Uh, Barrister, good morning to you. Welcome to the platform on Flow FM. Good morning, my brother. Thank you for joining us. You followed the conversation of um, uh, Festus Kayamo, the senior advocate of Nigeria. And of course, uh, you know, it's very controversial right now because he's also a member of this federal government that advised the states of the federation to go ahead with uh, the panel of uh, inquiry to look at the um, uh, protest by the Nigerian youths sometimes last year. So what should we know? The statutory provisions enabling the constitution of these panels by the state governors. What should we know, Barrister? Well, um, I, I don't know. the that He was talking about that of Lagos State. Lagos State, yes. He just measures his... Uh, but we, we can bring it back home yes, so we have um, an idea of where we're headed. Exactly. On, Le on Lagos State and... Uh, uh, I think there's a, a provisions of the law that actually established a panel of inquiry to such effect. But if you listen to him very well, mm. he's talking about the that the panel went outside their jurisdiction. Yes, as to to um, inquire on the activities of the police, Nigerian police, and the Nigerian army. These are two things that I can actually make out from what he just said that uh, the army and the police being agents of the federal government and their actions and their powers not within that is within the exclusive list you know should be uh, be governed by any panel that should be set up by federal government that's actually what he's talking about mm. and uh, saying that the Lagos state government does not have the jurisdiction or powers to inquire or to make findings on the activities of nigerian police and the Nigerian army, as it consigns the NSAS protests, you know, we looked at it that way. But I, I think that uh, to an extent is right. Okay. Yes, to an extent is right. And, uh, and then to an extent, I will also say that uh, uh, he actually didn't understand the pivot or the, um, 
terms of uh, 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 preference mm. or issues that were actually given to this uh, panel, uh, panel you know, to look at. Because he has followed up the panel very well. He found out that what the panel did is findings. Okay. Is findings Wh and recommendations. Wh which falls within the jurisdiction which of Which falls within the their jurisdiction, okay. yes. The panel came out to make some findings from the general public. They called up for memorandum for reaction from the public. So, st still yeah. talking about this issue of legality, who can constitute a panel of inquiry? The Lagos state has a power to constitute you know, any panel of inquiry over any o issue that happens the within their jurisdiction. Ex uh, every state government has the uh, okay. power to do that. Just like the federal government also have the power to constitute a panel to inquire over activities of a particular you know, um, sector of the economy. It, it came as a, some sort of a compelling the state government then more like a direct directive uh, should we say the state the federal government mandated mandated the state state government to constitute the panel or advise because I, i'm still looking at that to find to to find the legal backing behind the federal government directing the state's government to uh, uh, to constitute such panels. If, if you if you watch the the actions of Mr. President, uh, yes. when people started reacting to the answers issue, and in fact you actually notice that uh, Mr. President, it it was a way out for Mr. President. It was a way right. out for the federal government when the whole thing became very bad and very um, unbearing. Okay. So he has to he advised the state governors, please constitute panels. Let's inquire from each each uh, state let's know what actually happened? what happened why is it that we have gotten to this stage what actually happened that's actually what it is but i'm very glad with the level of um, conduct okay. and practice that we saw exhibited by the panel of lagos state and someone coming up to say that what they have done is infertility to me is an insult to uh, to the conscience of the people of lagos state for someone because of his political affiliation of whatever he is talking about to say or to make such comments is of um to me is um is a slight okay on, when, on the people of lagos state when, when such panels are constituted barrister do they have the powers to inquire in, in into allegations of human rights violation by a federal government agency like but that's, the police? That, that's exactly what they have done now let me give you an instance yeah, because if, if you follow that conversation yes we, we, they were talking about exclusive, uh, exclusive right, uh, exclusive list rather, and so matters are in the exclusive list, like matters of security and who controls the police force and the likes. So the question is, do they have the right to inquire into allegations of human rights violation of federal government agencies like the police force, like they've done, like we've seen in all the panels across board? Now, now let me just take it from this point. Okay. Um, the panel is headed by by a retired judge in Lagos State. Uh, yes. And then a judge is always a judge, and whatever a judge says, that's the court. Mm. Now, um, and the issues involved uh, pertain to the uh, agents of the federal government, the police, and the military. Now, in our state here, at the state, we have what they call the fundamental human rights actions. Okay. And when there are actions, when it is perceived that the um, the rights of an individual is being infringed by the agent of the federal government. An individual has a right to approach the Abia State High Court for the enforcement of his fundamental human rights against the agent of the federal government. I don't know what, you're, what I'm talking I'm about. I'm getting you. Exactly. Barbara, so. You can't say because that's Abia State does not have right to control or to make findings or to make inquiries or to go through the trial or, you know, to have jurisdiction over matters pertaining to federal agency. No, it's not true. Okay. If you look at that panel, that panel was instituted basically for us to know who and who or what has happened during the answers pertaining basically on the fundamental human rights and of the, the issue of labor state. Brutality exactly. That's actually what it is. So the, the outcome of such panels, uh, are they binding uh, on on the person because can, can they lead to prosecution now if you look at what the panel the the findings of the panel okay. what what the the division of the panel or the powers of the panel is to make findings when they do the findings and they make recommendation to the state governor 
Now, immediately after they have they finished their, they are their sitting and made their findings, mm. they also communicated to the governor their findings and handed over the panel report to him. Now, what the governor did was to constitute a panel, another panel, headed by the Attorney General of Lagos State. That is actually the issue right now. Oh, okay. They have a, a time, either seven days or, uh, or 14 days, to present a white paper based on the findings, on the findings of the of panel. The panels. Oh, okay. That's actually what it is. And from that white paper, they will make publish, you know, who and who, you know, if you know what white paper is all about, mm. make, making findings on actually they have looked at this issue and look at this, their findings, and these are the actions the government should take. If there are people that, that need to be taken to court for prosecution, it will be there. So in all, in, in, all, they, in they, all this, it, it looks like technicality in the judiciary. I, I don't know how to explain it, but in all this, one will be asking, is the judiciary still the last hope of the common man? Because it looks like there might not be any uh, uh, any any benefit to this judicial panel of inquiries uh, set up by the state government. No, there it is. It looks like it's going to be there, back there, and forth there, there between is. the state government. The judiciary government. has always been uh, there for uh, the okay. common man. That, that's the truth. But you see, uh, we are lawyers. Mm. Your view might be very different, you know, from, from my own view. As we see the same law, we, go to, we went to the same law school, but we have different mindset as at the way we say things. You understand what I'm talking about? So the, the, the view of the senior advocate, um, what's his name? Um, Festus, Festus yeah. Kayamura. Yes. You know, he has been in practice and became a member of the inner bar but he most of the same times he has been in the political world okay and uh, has been faced with political challenges and most times these things actually um, affect our thinking and the way we reason i'm not trying to be a little bit uh okay. on that but i'm just be stating the obvious the judiciary is the hope of the common man one thing is sure without the judiciary uh, mm. I, I don't think we can even walk on the streets anything can happen people will just come kill you and then anything will go by with it you can't do any other thing man will become brutish and uh, you, know, you know funny with each other so we still have the judiciary to, to work so on. if the judiciary is the last hope of the common man the question still comes to the resolutions made whether it will be binding on any of the parties involved you know persons were invited evidence were produced uh, were presented during the sitting and people are expecting uh, a justice to be served from the panels constituted by the states and the question is the 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 big the big uh, 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 surprise here is that the outcome will still be presented to the government government will still sit on it before it will be made public what about judgment or justice being served from the panel is it possible can we see that happen well just like i just said mentioned earlier yeah. uh, the job of the panel is to make findings okay it's not to pass judgment oh they do not have the power they don't to, have pass the power to judgment. pass judgment no but maybe it's that's to, where most nigerians yes. are it, it's are just to make it, findings yeah. it's, it, their work is just to make findings make findings on what you observe firsthand from mm. from the public these are findings this is your recommendations Mm. You recommend. This is what we found out from every from, from the data we got the from the public. Got these are these are these you know, and then this is our recommendation to the state government. Okay. Now, when they did that, the honourable the the uh, the the lady judge that actually headed the panel, which I I can tell you is one of the most fearless persons I have seen on planet Earth. She 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 was just bold and she did her work without minding any any uh, any. Uh, any influence from any person handed over the the report to the governor and there and then the governor considered another panel headed by the attorney general of lagos states that will see that will sit analyze the recommendations of the panel mm. and then bring forth a white paper based on that white paper the government has the right to take any action against any agent or any agency or any individual that have been found to have been to have been involved mm. in the violation of human rights you know on the cities of Lagos State. 
Interesting. Yes. Anyways, it is still the platform, the pinnacle of all discussions right here on Flow 94.9 FM Monday edition. And we've been speaking with uh, Barrister Namdi Elua. He's the past chairman of the NBA. That's the Nigerian Bar Association, Umahia branch. And we're looking at the legality of the judicial panels of inquiry, looking at the um, statement uh, uh, uttered, of course, uh, during the interview uh, on one of the national televisions. Uh, the statement uttered by Festus Kiyamo, SAN as a senior lawyer. We take a break now. When we return, we we'll continue the conversation this morning on the platform on Flow FM. Um, I will answer this question as a senior advocate in Nigeria, a member of the INABA. Um, and so I'm entitled to my personal opinion. This is not the federal government's position. For me, that panel was an illegal panel. The panel of inquiry, it's totally illegal. led by Justice Okwebe, and uh, set up also across the nation in Ill at least 20 Ill states. Illegal panel. Why is it so? All lawyers who are listening to me should go back and read the Tribunals of Inquiry Act of Lagos State. It says that the, the governor should have, will have power to inquire into the conduct of any person, underline any person, and then chieftaincy matters and on and on, and then any other matter within that to promote you know, uh, the good of the public. However, any person there was defined in Section 21 to mean public officers of the states. Because when they say, any person or uh, any person of the state within the state officer of the state is defined to mean somebody within the public service of Lagos state or of the local government as the case may be then the phrase was used at the end of section one there it says any matter any matter that they can inquire into any matter so people now think that to inquire into any matter it means that you can just be at large. You can be at large. You can inquire into, into, into any matter. However, if you look at Section 21 again of the Tribunal of Inquiry Law, it says that it has to be within the legislative competence of Lagos State. The other, the person or the matter must be within the legislative competence of Lagos State. In other words, it is only people over with whom the Lagos State has control that they can inquire into their conduct. Okay, uh, just uh, a snippet from the statement uh, made by uh, Festus Kayamo yesterday, uh, a senior advocate of Nigeria. Of course, you know that following the demands made by the NSAS protesters on police brutality and human rights uh, violations, uh, the National Economic Council of Nigeria asked the state governors to set up the panel of inquiries to look into the uh, subject matter that's uh, the police brutality and human rights violation of nigerians and um, with a view to resolving them according to the demands of the protesters and a lot is happening a lot has been said about the legality of the judicial panels of inquiry and that uh, is a subject of discussion this morning we've been speaking with uh, barrister namdi elua the pastor chairman of the nigerian bar association Abias, uh, uh, Umahia branch, rather, and it all has been said, especially the area of um, the uh, law, uh, looking at uh, uh, affairs of civil service and local government authority of the state, um, rather than looking at the issue of uh, uh, federal uh, agencies like uh, the issue of uh, the police. Do they have the right? Anyways, you can join in the conversation this morning. I'm going to return to Barrister Namde Lua uh, uh, shortly. You can join in the conversation this morning by uh, sharing your thoughts with us on our Facebook page. We're streaming live at Flow 949 FM. That's uh, Flow 949 FM on Facebook. You can also call 0808-182-6949 or 0811-605. Two nine four nine. Also, drop messages on zero nine zero six five one zero eight two eight nine. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. You're welcome. Uh, good morning, the guests in the studio. Thank you, sir. Yes, uh, the truth is that uh, I want to ask some talent questions. The, I want to ask where were uh, first to see. Kayamo, is it Kayamo or Kayamo? We had, I don't know the correct. Festus uh, Kayamo, uh, yes, you're correct. Yeah. Okay, I thought he used to be Kayamo, so I wanted to be sure. Um, when were he when the panel was set up? And he did not say it is illegal. You see, one of the problems we have in this country is sentiment and uh, as a result of selfish interest and political environment we have in this country. 
when people are being killed it's obvious and you Whoa. All right. If you can call back to finalize your thoughts. Hello. Good morning to you. That didn't pull through. So what's going on? Anyways, uh, keep your calls coming and your messages coming. You can uh, pull through. You can join the conversation on uh, our Facebook page and drop your comments. Hello. Good morning to you. Welcome. Good Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You're welcome. Good Hello. Good morning. My name is Mike. All right, welcome. Go on with your con uh, contribution. Okay. Um, I entirely disagree with this is Kiamu's view, right? And my reason is that particular um, committee on NSAS, whatever that was set up by the Lagos State, is what is called uh, in law ABI, which means alternative dispute resolution. And even the 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 rules of court, you know, uphold such you know what's going on with the lines this morning? Let's see if this will pull through. Hello, good morning. Good morning. To you. Uh, good morning, Mike. You're welcome. Happy new with my brother. Thank you very much. I remember Mr. Prince Will Swag from Woman at your door. All right, Mr. Prince Will. Good morning, my honorable man in the city of Bunny, sir. Good morning, my brother. Thank you, sir. I, I think um, the issue has taken. Um, I'm not happy on the federal government uh, political degree program. How can they be telling us, most importantly, the minister for, for uh, uh, that is Kiamo, and the other man telling us, that, and the information telling us that what the, the panel has said is wrong? To me, there's no that there, there's no way there's no way panel can sit, find out findings, go for their investigations, and at the end they use their they use their central petal force as a federal government to tell us that what the state did shouldn't be accepted. What I had expected them to do is this. They would have accepted that matter, take at the people that have been offended, give appropriate punishment instead of instead of um, you know jettisoning the entire panel's um, idea. It is quite wrong. Since, since they are the federal government, they would have set their own panel and, and, and look into the matter instead of instead of jettisoning the one that's been done by the state government. So for me, the area of jurisdiction should have been taking place. It, it took place in Lagos, and the people in Lagos are supposed to give us actually that what happened. And they have done that. They would have accepted it, give appropriate punishment to whoever that is deserved instead of instead of rejecting it. That's my team. God bless you, my brother. All right. Thank you very much for your take. Hello. Good morning to you. Welcome to the platform. Good morning. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, first of all, uh, line of argument. Eh? There's no water. You're wrong to me now. Okay. Let me, if I should follow him, but is, is he telling us that uh, someone can come to Lagos and commit such a crime as regards to human rights? And Lagos still do not have the jurisdiction to set up to investigate it and to prosecute it to the medical matter. And then, what is the function of the state and the general? They should abolish the office of the secretary of the state and make everything, the every crime in Nigeria, only the federal and the general to prosecute it. What is the argument about? Human rights is an international conventional law, and Nigeria is submitted to it. They mistreated here in National Assembly. And so, under National Assembly, Constitution is found there. And the if Lagos State have the right because the event took place in the Lagos State. So what I will recommend, someone who and the government of the state should proceed immediately to the court and prosecute those people behind these atrocities and proceed to the court. Where is government, federal government trying to uh, play passage? They should hand them over to the international community. Yeah, right, the one that did it now. All right. Th Rwanda. When, when they want, excuse me, when Rwanda want to prescribe the, the act of genocide, they find it is going to generate, generate ethnic tension. They have to hand them over to the international community. All right. You you international law, it's, 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 thank you for sharing your thoughts yes, with us. We do appreciate you. Hello. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Michael. I called back. Sir. All right. Welcome back. All right. Thank you. I was trying to question the honesty, the integrity, and the sincerity of Festus Kiyama for boldly coming out on a national 
uh, environment to tell her that what the panel has done is really good. And that was action. When we were here when this setup panel was set up, and he says, well, in his thoughts, looking at the caliber of people that took care of that panel, the detection has gone on. And the governor is an insult, and I expect him to comfortably sit back, reflect, and come up and apologize to this country, and apologize to the victims, because the blood of those people that were killed will never allow him to rest. Let us try to project justice and fight for justice of individuals and citizens who do not have any way to protect themselves. Uh, because right. the country is, we are on our own. So he should apologize to this country for the utterances he had just uttered. It's very, very All right. Thank, Th you, th thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, let me return to the barrister in the studio. Uh, it's something I'm so confused about. Uh, the federal institution, is it that federal institutions uh, do not fall within the purview of the state in the eyes of the law? Because that's the line of thought. Professor uh, Kayamo uh, essay and is, is, is trailing. And, uh, well, uh, that, just like I said earlier, when there are issues of uh, uh, um, that concerns the federal government yes. or the agents of the federal government, which is different uh, from claims of uh, fundamental human rights, yes. these ones can be affected or can be brought under the jurisdiction of the federal high court. Okay. Now, but in issues pertaining to fundamental human rights, now the state and the federal uh, high court the state high court and the federal high court has concurrent jurisdictions to try such matters now that's why i said now look at it in this in this point of view the findings of that panel in my view mm -hmm. in my personal opinion was uh, for them to actually find out what happened first the remote cause that gave rise to the NSAS protests who actually got affected in the answers process who were responsible for those okay. know, alleged actions and this they have done quite well they brought in the remote costs the um, victims of the answers uh, protests mm. and then the persons who carried out those actions that brought forth those victims that's actually what they have done uh, in, in the midst of this uh, we have an agency responsible for human rights uh, violations uh, national human rights commission and it looks like they've not been really allowed to um conduct what have been served the purpose that way they were created for the nhrc which is also an agency under the federal government one will be asking why should don't the federal government allow them to take charge of or take control of this inquiry set up across board is well, there not duplication of uh, uh, responsibilities well i don't think that any person is stopping the um the human rights commission from actually doing their work they also they, we have also had them mm. uh, most of us in the administration of criminal justice monitoring committee have also had part with the human rights commission and uh, here in Abia state we have also seen them do one or two things uh, but you, you know what happened during the NSAS was quite uh, verbose. It was quite mm. big. Mm. Uh, it, most times, people wanted an immediate action. The, it, it, it became a public hearing. People were interested in, in that issue. People wanted okay. to know what government, you know, uh, is going to do pertaining to that. So that was when this issue of panel. You see, panels comes on special demand. Not necessarily everything is at a panel. Now the NSAS thing was across board. Every every state of the nation actually participated in the answers. Now, the, what the government wanted to find out is that actually what is the remote cause? You know, the people need to give us what the problem is. The the Human Rights Commission have their own terms, which in essence the answers protects, uh, you know, might not comfortably be uh, brought under the Human Rights Commission. So that's why some of these panels we are instituted to make sure that uh, things are done properly. And anyone talking about the legality or illegality of such uh, panels, for me, is um, trying to ring the bell of his master. Mm, all right. Mm. Uh, you can still be part of the conversation this morning. Don't forget that we're streaming live on our Facebook page, facebook.com uh, forward slash flow 949 FM. And uh, of course, you can drop your messages on 0906. 510-8289 or call 0808-182-6949.
Uh, 0706510829. Hello, good morning to you. Hello, good morning, Michael. You're welcome, good morning. Yeah, this is Radio Sinetor, College from Government College, uh, Ohio. Uh, right. uh, good morning, our guest. Good morning, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, our guest, uh, I must believe, uh, on based on what you have said and what uh, Guillermo has said, I think uh, they are trying totally because if you like it, it is not political, my dear brother. If you look at it very well, you see that even the federal government cannot treat the issue of the military. It is the military themselves who treat their issue when it comes to violation of human rights. The military themselves who treat their case. And uh, that panel itself that has been set up, as it has been set up, the panel, that, that is exactly what the government was saying. So the panel has right on the military, the, the answer is no, he has no right. But after gathering all the information, such information should be handed over to the state government. The state government will now refer to the federal government, especially to the officers that are consigned in the federal establishment. And then they will bring their matter over there. But where I don't like is that a member of that panel coming to review the report which has not been uh, digested by the Lagos State government, which is supposed to be. Somebody reviewing it through the back door. I said, no, it is not so, it is supposed not to be so. It should only go through the normal process and then come out to give us the real information of what really happened and those to be punished and the institutions that will punish them. All right. How it should be. All right. So I Radio believe Senator. that something needs to be done on that. We should be very careful in that on handling it. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us. Hello, good morning to you. Welcome to the platform. Good morning, Mike. Uh, You're welcome, Loman the Prophet. <laughs> yeah, this is Loman the Prophet from Oman. All right. See, if I am to retrieve people of their fanship, I'll be the first and foremost to, I will retrieve that of Jesus Kayamu because he did not speak like a fan. I think people that are of that status, a senior advocate of Nigeria, uh, will always stand by the truth and speak the truth. You can tell me that the panel that was badly set up that is reported first. Why? Is it because that the youth decided to cheat the soul? That is why everybody is out of it. You see, like Mohammed is saying, it's fair. He's doing that. He, he's doing that. Because the youth decided to come down. If the youth have gone ahead telling the military, telling the Nigerian authorities, it's going to kill all of us, kill all of us. At the end of the day, they will know that the revolution of the youth is the worst. In the country. So, but what surprises me is that this particular report is in line how government should do. From the police, from the military, the way they should be handling things. And you come because if they, they indicted uh, uh, maybe the youth and uh, favored the federal government, the report would have been expressed. Now that the indicted federal government and its agencies, now it has now become fake. So it's quite unfortunate that what caused that particular thing has yes. not been dealt with accordingly. So what I'm just telling them is that if they don't want such things to happen again, let them treat that particular report with dispatch. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us, uh, Alam and the Prophet. Hello, good morning to you. Welcome to the platform. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. Have a wonderful morning. Thank you. Michael, my name is Menko Bremane Aloka. I'm calling from Aba. All right. Michael, let me put it this way. I like what the, one of the callers, what he said. Yes, the issue of the, the setting a, a committee out of the 36 states, yes, is good. But, Michael, you know, there is a particular one we said in other here. A year away, what they conclude the end of the day. Hello? Yes, go on with your contribution. M I tell, are you away? You are not. Now, if it's so, how can a committee set by legal state government, somebody from the committee, come out and review? A document that is confidential. You come out and say, it. We are government supposed to see. Last time I told you, 
concerning this issue, before government make any statement, they have to study it. They prefer at the end of the day and they see where government, where this went wrong. All right. They look at it, how to put it in order. They fail. Now, those people have come. Let me tell you, my final part of what the panel or the other DC state, whatever decision the panel takes, let those government implement it. Let them forget uh, about whatever that involved. All right. Because Nigeria, where we are now, is very, very bad. We don't all right, need to play uh, politics comrade. in everything. Th that is one of the problems of Nigeria. Everything is politics. It's not Th good. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Hello, good morning to you. Hello. Hello, good morning, Mike. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. This is Colin. I'm calling from Amundi. All right. Um, I think in Nigeria we have this uh, trend of um, some of our political offenses and the find them humanity on the altar of political offenses. Now, does it mean that if the police are achieved the citizen in the United States or United States, I guess the government has no right to prosecute such policemen because he is an agent of the federal government. What is the clamor in which is actually um, in fact, we don't be coming up with a similar policy. The panel has brought out their investigation, they brought out their suggestions, they brought out their um, resolutions, and they've given the tools, uh, the past their recommendations to the uh, Mother State government. So, if it's the root of the Mother State government, now present their white paper and now to give suggestions, these are the people that should be prosecuted. In line with the shooting at the kids, we should be human. Yes, we should be human, and we should not sell our conscience on the altar of political oppression. At the end of the day, we just be free, and we will become a normal Nigerian. What happens when that political appointment has been resolved from you? Mm. We should be mindful of this. Is my case. All right, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Uh, let's take this and we'll run through the messages so that we can step out of the studio. Hello, good morning. You're welcome. Good morning. My name is Enoch Ekuru. You're welcome. The commission of your guest and the defense of the federal government getting the legality of the panel of the power. It means that since the federal government failed to set up one, on the answer protest. The victim should be with this, should go without compensation. And that human rights abuses should uh, go on. It is really quite unfortunate that the federal government earlier asked this government to set up a panel of inquiry, even though it knows that it is so. And again, turn around, it is illegal. It is sorry. Since it is legal for this state to, to set it up, why did it not set up one? I have seen all the efforts of uh, the federal government as towards concealing the massacre. It is Thank you. All right, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. On the Facebook page, Simon Wokocha says, Good morning. Um, Nigerians like Kiyama are our problem. State in any legal document can stand for both federal and state governments. And these people should not be taking us as fools. Uh, Kanu Zomba Isikweta from Isikweta says, This is double standard on the part of Festus Kiyamo. Federal government advised state governments to set up these panels and now exonerating the federal government from their recommendations based uh, because federal government, federal law enforcement agents were indicted. However, it is his personal view. Mm. All right, uh, this one is coming from uh, Abdul Razaki Fai. He says, uh, Festus Kayamo is 100% right. Anyways, we do appreciate you, Barrister. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us this morning. We need to step out of the studio already. Definitely, it is a developing story. I'm sure some persons might want to challenge this legality in the court of law uh, when we start uh, seeing issues like uh, issues popping up uh, from the recommendations and uh, maybe from the white paper we're expecting legal state government to publish in the coming days. Uh, barrister, thank you very much for joining thank us this morning. Sure. Yes, uh, that's uh, Barrister Namdi Elua, the former chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association, Umahia branch. We do appreciate you for joining us this morning. Don't forget the conversation on building strong institutions is very critical right now in Nigeria. And our actions and inactions must reflect that call 
to build strong institutions and not to abuse the already existing existing ones uh, with defined functions. Thank you for joining us this morning. My name is Michael Oni. Many thanks to my producer, Akilo Zontaye, and uh, also uh, Samson Eze, and the guys behind the visuals on our Facebook page, Stanley and Chinedu. Do enjoy the rest of your day.